Hello, beautiful people. Fuego here. And the time has come. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty pre-release is this weekend. Uh, it's a set I've been excited about, and I got my hands on a couple of pre-release kits. I thought it might be fun to crack them open and see what's going on in them uh, before we play this weekend. So yeah, let's uh, check it out. So out of all the sets that they had uh, said were coming for this year, this was by far the one I was most excited to see on that list. Uh, the original Kamigawa block happened at a time where I wasn't actively playing Magic, and so I kind of missed out on it. I think it's got great flavor, some cool mechanics that you don't <laughs> see in uh, other sets. So it'll be uh, fun to get a chance to actually try it out. So far, I'm loving the uh, the flavor and the style and the art for everything. So let's see what we got. We've got March of Otherworldly Light for our promo. And I haven't really... That's some, that's some kind of goofy, awesome art. I haven't really looked at uh, many of the spoilers or the, um, the leaks... And just pretty much just a few of the cards that some of the other channels were talking about and were getting hyped up. So I, I'm not exactly sure what is in the set, to be honest. Alright. Fun. Got myself some packs. Gotta have a die. Crit. <laughs> nope. Alright. See what we get. All right. Tamio safekeeping. Got a crab, artifact crab. So I'm going to take just a little bit of time since these are all fresh for me. Fox Monk. Looks awesome. Alright, Kami's Flare. Klein Torment. Geothermal Kami. Alright, we're going to see a lot of spirits, I think. Voltage Surge. Twisted Embrace. The Shattered States Era. I'm happy that sagas are a regular thing. That they're kind of fun, uh, fun card design to play around. And I love stealing creatures. That's cool. Containment Construct. Roadside Reliquary. Okiba Salvage. And, ooh, got some cool art here. Oh, is this the uh, the showcase? It's kind of got that, I think it's a, a Tory Gate top to it. March of Swirling Mist. Okay. Man, not a big fan of the phasing. That was a, a mechanic from, from uh, earlier day magic. That I just, just <laughs> don't like very much. It's just kind of awkward, I guess. And some land. All right. I better go a little bit quicker, or else this is going to take forever. All right. Shrine Steward, Grafted Growth, Kitsune Ace, Kami of Industry, Kami of Terrible Secrets. Ooh. Careful Cultivation, Network Disruptor, Guardians of Oboro, are you going to go my wall deck? Nah, probably not. Well, no. Nah. <laughs> Intercessor's Arrest. Some more Saga action. Kapatek Wrecker. 
Copper Tech, uh, Copper Tech Wrecker. All right. Heiko Yamazaki. Okay. Chukai Naturalist. Oh, that has some potential. Looks good. And Mind Link Mech. Oh, yeah, vehicles are back. That's right. I knew that. Alright, when it becomes crude for the first time each turn until end of turn, it becomes a copy of target non legendary creature that crude it this turn, except it's a 4 3. It's a vehicle artifact, and it has flying. Okay, so you can have just a little weenie crew. It that's that's weird. That is an odd vehicle. I have a feeling there's definitely some use for this, but that is an odd vehicle. Oh, that's a pretty planes. Nice. All right, we don't care about the planes. All right, spirit. Yeah, I really like the art in this. This is a uh, this is a good flavor set. <clears throat> All right, Aki War Paint, Moonfolk Puzzle Maker, Light the Way, Experimental Synthesizer, Undercity Scrounger. Careful Cultivation, Aki Ronin, Seven Tail Mentor, another Fox Samurai, cool. Okay. Walking Skyscraper. Alright, so Modified Creature is going to be kind of a, a big deal, so equipment, enchantments, Things like that. I guess plus one counters also count. All right. Sky Bless Samurai. Runaway Trash Bot. Fun. Ah. Detsuko Devouring Chaos. That might be a good one. That might be a good one. All right. And a shiny common. Unstoppable ogre. Ogre. All right. So I'm not exactly sure what the, uh, the chase cards are for this set. Maybe we'll know when we see it. All right, let's go through some of these commons a little faster. Hey, unstoppable ogre. Dead to the Kami. Gift of Wrath. Some wicked art. Oh. Cool border. Iganjo Exemplar. Alright. Mech Hanger. Oh, that's going to be some of the vehicles. They're mechs. Okay. All right. I'm into it. Invigorating Hot Spring. Acquisition Octopus. All right. Whenever act Acquisition Octopus or Equipped Creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Reconfigure. Attached to target creature you control. Unattached. Uh, only as a sorcery while attached... This isn't a creature. Interesting. All right, so something a little different for the artifact, artifact creature equipment. All right. March of Wretched Sorrow. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may exile any number of black cards from your hand. This spell costs two less to cast for each card exiled this way. It deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker and you gain X life. Alright, it's a, it's a life drain. Oh, what do we got here? Is that, that's a forest. 
Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, very cool. Oh, I want some foil basics now. Uh -oh. Who knows? Let's see. Here we go. Back. That looks very cool for the land. Alright. Blast through some of these commons. Not kind of not sure what kind of deck I'd make so far. Guardians of the Morrow. Boom. Era of Enlightenment. Scry gain life. Return it transformed. Wait, do all of them transform? Was I missing that? Alright. Alright, two mana, that gives you some value. Turn after turn. It ends with a creature. Alright. Blossom Prancer. Magnificent. Ooh, Prosperous Thief. Here we go, Ninja. Are you stealing a fish? Alright. Neat. Historian's Wisdom. Another one. Okay, so... Oh, these sagas are way cooler. Now that I know that they turn into creatures. Very cool. Foil puzzle maker. And some highlands. Excellent. And last pack. I don't think we hit anything crazy. No mythics. Um, nothing that really jumped out at me. All right, Uncharted Haven. Oh, it's one of the little uh, shop cats. Lucky cats. Yep. All right. Oh, it's, uh, we already had one of those, but I guess there's alternate art. Cool. Moonfolk Samurai. Oh, there's always so many variations of the cards. Sketch art, showcase art, borderless. Now we're just getting just random variation art. All right. Yep. Yep. Katose, the silent spider. Oh, there's so much text here. All right, let's see. When Katose, the silent spider, enters the battlefield... Exile target card other than a basic land card from an opponent's graveyard. Search that player, search that player's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with the same name as that card and exile them. Then that player shuffles. For as long as you control Katose, you may play one of the exiled cards, and you may spend mana as though it were any color to cast it. Okay, so not a commander card. All right. Ganjo Exemplar. Shiny. Sweet. It's a cool looking island. I'm digging it. I like those lands. Alright, let's see. So one down. I think it's going to be fun to build a deck out of. I think it's going to be fun to play uh, sealed and draft. But I didn't see much that I'm going to use in other decks, so let's see. What do we got? Ishin, two heavens is one. A creature attacking causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control the trigger. Trigger that ability additional time. All right. Commander, I guess. Looks like he'd be a good commander. Was that Mardu color, Commander? Cool. And fresh stack of packs. Crit. Opposite. Oh, I failed. I hope that does not uh, bode to how these packs are going to go. <laughs> All right. Ah, Brute Suit. More mech action. 
that's that's fun. Brute suit. All right. Pop through these commons real quick. See if there's anything else that looks cool. Boseju reaches skyward. Well, I know that's the Boseju land is one of the good ones. So. Plus one for each land you control. Bitchin'. Like that. Touch the spirit realm. Roadside reliquary. Salvage. And tribute to Horobi. Ooh. Oh, this might be an easy include in the rat deck. Flying haste. Gain control of all rat tokens. Oh, that's... That is cool. Alright. Which I was really stoked to see uh, rats coming into this. I've got a... Just a, a pet deck. A, a rat deck that I've had forever. And so anytime I see something new, it's always that's that's one I don't get to add to very often. Monic Sphere, Kitsune Ace. Hmm. Fang of Shigeki. One one death touch. Classic, classic snake for you. But cool art, cool border. An ogre ninja. Hmm. Ogre Ninja. All right. Sure. Black doing black things. That dude smoking his pipe. Some hot springs. And Tatsunari Toad Rider. We getting some... Getting some Naruto Jiraiya vibes here. Is that what we're doing? He's a ninja. He's a human ninja. All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's that's a new deck. I'll do a ninja Naruto themed deck. <laughs> and a shiny Kami if we'll focus on it. And boring, boring. All right. More brute suit. It's a brute suit riot. Ooh. Crackling Emergence. Nifty. Return to Action. Some kind of interesting... I don't know what's up with the pixelation, but this like background is kind of a... I don't know, a very low-tech for this game <laughs> compared to some of this other art. All right. Sky Swimmer Koi. Nazumi Blade Blesser. Some rat samurai action. I'm digging the alternate arts. I think they're fun. They pop. Very cool. High speed hover bike. Curtu Reality. There's the alternate art for Sky Bless Samurai. And Ryu, Storm's Edge. Human Samurai, first strike. Whenever a Samurai or Warrior you control attacks alone, untap it. If it's the first combat phase of the turn, there is an additional combat phase. Alright, that's triggering some, uh, some attack trigger here. That's cool. Awesome. Alright, just a couple left. Let's see. I don't think I've hit a single mythic. What is going on? Usually the pre-release kits feel like they're they're seeded better. You usually get some pretty spicy things. Ink Rise Infiltrator. Dig the colors on that. She looking badass. All right. Hmm. 
malicious malfunction. Dokuchi silencer. Seems like the ultimate art kind of has this anime flavor to it. Hey, it's the Toad Rider again in the same pack. Or the same uh, kit. All right. I guess I'd be going Black Toad Rat Tribal if I was building a deck out of this. Well, who knows? If, I, if I'm hitting money cards and totally not knowing it, let me know. <laughs> but so far, I wasn't seeing anything too nutty here. Sunblade Samurai. Dang. Azumi Prowler. Oh, what is going on with the focus here? All right. Discover the Impossible. Blade Blizzard Kitsune. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yep, goblins. Discard draw. And... Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Okay. So it's a Kiki Jiki saga. Neat. Potentially playable, I guess. As a backup, maybe? Sky Swimmer Koi. Oh, come on. I want some of those, those fun lands. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to play this weekend, so there's more kits to be opened. These were just a uh, little preview kit. Brute Suit, you are often in the number one spot there. Are you any good? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, playable. If you're going to get a bunch of them, at least it's playable. The way, synthesizer, blade blesser, behold the unspeakable. Okay. Naomi, pillar of order. Koshintai. Of hidden cruelty. Deep. <laughs> Rabbit battery. And drum roll. Hinata Dawn Crown. Flying Trample. Spells you cast cost one less to cast for each target. Spells your opponent's cast cost one more for each target. So wait, so okay, so can I, I'm going to make a Hinata deck and a Naruto deck? Is that what's going on? All right. And the pilot. Well, that was what's going on with the uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty pre-release kits. Uh, it looks like a fun set. I can't wait to build a deck, play a little bit of Sealed here, and... Uh, Hopefully everybody out there gets a chance to play and has massive excellent luck with their kits. Well, thanks for joining me today, and have a great one.